Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn Heath. So today I'm with you because um, I got a question off um, someone, I can't, I'm really sorry, I can't remember your name, asking what I would do if I had um, some paper that I didn't like um, and how would I use it? And I thought actually that's a really, really good question because I don't think I've ever done anything like that on my channel. And I always seem to find a use, so I'll always like put it in, if I know somebody likes that paper, I'll, I'll use something with it. So, but um, we can change the papers. So the first thing that I thought we would do is actually do something to the papers to make us love them again. So these are just a couple of papers that um, I got from a D-stash of our lovely Laura. And they're not something that I would use personally because um, I don't have little kids around me. So um, yeah, they're not something that I would sort of happily use, should we say. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab myself a paintbrush and then <laughs> oh it's because she wants a treat oh dear yeah ladies ladies pestering her daddy again okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, put a layer of gesso on so this is one way in which you can um, get rid of that. Now, this is actually doing a really nice coverage, but if you've got a thin gesso and the, the pattern still comes through, don't worry about it, honestly, um, because it still we can there's still other things that we can do. We're just muting down the pattern with our gesso. So now this is a textured paper that I'm using. The other one isn't. So I thought I'd, I'd sort of get one that is textured. So this is like um, a canvas a texture. Um, and as you can see, you can still sort of see the pattern through it. But um, yeah and what we're going to do is we're going to make our own so we're going to i'm going to stick with the colors because i love the colors i just don't like the pattern so and then just grab some more so just like so and then what we'll do is and as you can see that has dulled that right right down um so i'm not worried about getting the whole thing so um there you have our first piece so that has turned it into like it's gone really really um yeah I mean we can see a bit of the pattern still through it but um we've got rid of most of that um, I'm going to do the same with this one um so now gesso is a really good thing to have if you don't have gesso um in your stash then you can use um uh, white acrylic paint that would work as well um trying to think what else could work um i've seen um a video and i think it was artie mays who did it she used um white emulsion so just really cheap um like really thin white emulsion and she put it on her papers using a roller um so that's another option so because we are just sort of making these very very subtle um so that we can do our own thing over the top of them now i don't mind if these bears are still showing um i'm just wanting to dull them down and then what we're going to do once these two dry is when I get over on them so um is what I'm going to do is we're going to get some stamping bits out I'm going to get my sprays out um my acrylic paints so just a few bits that we can use just to transform these papers into something that we would like it to use um so yeah but this is just one way I'm going to think try and think of some other ways um of 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 bits of, like of how we can change our 12 by 12s or any paper that we don't like um so this is just a mixed media way of doing it um so yeah and then um i think um we'll try and think of a few other ways and we'll do like a little mini um series i'll see if i can try and sort of think of five ways to do it so this is our first um and then we'll come up with another four um to see what we can do um 
so yeah right so i've actually just as i'm doing this i've got another idea so another video will definitely be up in this little mini series okay so there's that i have actually now run out of that um gesso which is fine it just means now i'm actually on my um 13 ounce white gesso which is the one that i love okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for these to dry so um, and then once they're both dry, we're going to come back and we're going to make them something that we would like to work with. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. That's just about dried. So I think with these papers, um, what we're going to do is... So let me just open my drawer with my paints in. Um, so I'm going to grab my acrylic paints from craft box because um just because i have got them and they really do need to be used before they all dry out and absolutely gorgeous paints so that's what i'm going to use so let's get all of them together okay so what i'm thinking is um so we're going to change it and all i'm going to do is that we're just going to put some acrylic paint on and we're just going to brush it on um there's not going to be any sort of uh pattern to this i don't think and oh no no i don't think there is um actually i already know there isn't right that's my new one so let me get my old one out because i think i definitely want to use the turquoise um so i'm going to use the turquoise um Oh, they're the same colours, aren't they? So, ultramarine, I can see it's starting to sort of dry out, which is such a shame because it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paints. Um, oh, that one's got... That's the only downside. When I first got these, I never took these out, and I should have done because they are horrible. Right, okay. Yeah, see, this is why we need to use our products okay are oh, there still some in there i'm hoping we can water these down um, we can put some water in and reactivate them um so we're going to try because obviously i don't want to waste them but i quite like that blue now blue is not something i normally work with so i think we're going to go with all the blue shades so i'm going to go with that one um i'm just getting that so um we'll have that one in as well and i think we'll have the gray so i'll leave those ones for another time um oh do you know what i've just thought should we put it on with a baby wipe right i'm just trying to get it off oh, it's all over i mean look at that that's just what's on the baby wipe oh i don't know if it's coming up on the camera i don't know if the camera's too bright but yeah right oh, okay let's um let's get all this paint off me right now you can keep these um and you can actually make flowers with these so if you've got um some baby wipes that are all like just like colored up like this from where you wipe your ha your hands or your surface you should definitely definitely keep keep them because um oh, i left my brush in the water you silly person so it's now got a curve on it um and the brand new brushes as well how clever is that okay right i'm just going to use the same brush as my white well let me just rinse this out um and i don't mind if there's water sort of left on it but i am going to get some of this and we're just going to sort of put it on but i am going to grab um a little bit of water out with it and we're just going to sort of put it on um like I say no thinking just do it we're just creating a background so and i am going to make something with these papers as well um so i do have something in mind but um yeah i'm just going to go all the way around that blue is absolutely beautiful um, so as you can see by putting a bit of water on we are able to save the paint which is just awesome right um, I'm just going to go now you can see that, that all of that um, the paper no longer exists so there's our first coat so that's 
page number one. Now I'm going to keep both of them very, very similar. So let's bring the second one in. Um, and I'm just going to, so I just want a little bit of this off. And what I want to do is I just want to put these in random spots. So I'll just do four, why not? Okay, like that. And then I'm going to come in with my turquoise, which I know is fine. I was using this the other day. Um, and again, it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. Right, get rid of most of that. And then we're just going to sort of add that in. Again, not really thinking, we're just adding it in. Oh, love. Okay. And then... Now, do I want to add in the grey or do we want to add in the aqua? I think the grey. So, now my grey is all, yeah, it is starting to get um, really, really thick. Just like the blue one, so, but it is fine because we can just add some water to it, um, which will reactivate it. Right, now that I've got the sort of colours on, what we're going to do is we're just going to get our brush, um, well in a minute I will, and then we're going to sort of blend it all together. So I'm going to try and clean my brush off as best as I can, I'm not bothered if it's not fully cleaned off. Um, oh. And then just take some of the excess off and we're just going to go all the way around and just blend that colour in so it's a really really rustic background just like that oh, oh, I like that background that is really fun and cool so I'm going to leave this one to dry as well oh, oh just dropping everything okay so there's that one just making sure I've got to my edges. Oh, I love that. You just think that is absolutely gorgeous. So there's that one. Right, let's put that off to the side to dry. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, because my other ones are just about dry, so I'm going to clean off my desk, put these paints away, because I don't think we're going to need them anymore. And then um, I want to bring in, I think, some of my sprays as well. So we have full mixed media today with these papers, but like I say, we are changing them. We make turn them into something that we like, and I have to say, I'm loving how they are looking. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Right, okay, so yeah, um, I think I'm going to go and get some stamps, um, just some background stamps, because I think I want to do some background stamping, um, maybe it's one or two sprays, and then, yeah, we'll finish the papers off, and then make something, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back, right, I chose these two background stamps, um, I'm not sure which one um, I'm going to go with, hmm, I didn't know whether to go florals or hugs and kisses, kisses so, um, I was hoping that when I got my inks out and my paper out, I'd sort of know which one to do, but yeah, still don't know. Right, let's move my cup out of the way. So I have tea today and it is in my bee mug. Let's move it over to the side. There we go. Um, yeah, let's do, use hugs and kisses. Um, I'll use that one on another project. So um, let's have a look what sprays I have first. Ooh, I've got this pale blue. Now, the only reason why I want to use these sprays is because they have like a shimmer in them. And I just think that shimmer on the paper will just really enhance it. I think this one is a blue one as well from Craft Box that is quite shimmery. So um, I've got a feeling that it doesn't work, of course. Oh, just. Yes, it is a blue one, but um, yeah, most of these have didn't clean them properly, so most of them don't work. So I need to use them with a. Oh, there we go. So I'm just spraying this on, and it really is just for that glimmer. 
um, just so that we've got like that sheen to the paper. I mean, how nice is that? I think I'm going to add in this purple as well. So this is another one from Craft Box, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, and it's just again, we're just doing it to add that gorgeous sheen. Oh, I love. Right. So let's leave that to dry. Let's bring in the other one, and let's do the same. So again, actually. I'm quite liking just the purple but I think yeah let's add some blue in there we go right oh I love I love I love I love I love right now I'm just going to sort of let that run so I mean how gorgeous does that the, do they look you don't need to do any stamping or anything now on these at all you can leave them as they are um, and this is just by adding our mediums in um, we are changing it all um, completely now I've got I should have brought my box in but I don't think my box is big enough um, yeah so just by adding in different mediums so all we've done is just put white gesso on we've just put i mean this one is a paper um and it's not built for mediums but it's taken it's been fine um this one is more of a heavy duty paper so this is your textured um which is a canvas texture to it um and it's just absolutely gorgeous and it's took our mediums again fine and we have transformed those papers into something that we definitely definitely want to use um so i do have an idea for these i do want to come in and bring uh, i do want to bring in some of the stamping um but i'm just thinking this might need drying just a touch and the other thing is after i've dropped that um the other thing is, if we can actually use our heat tool to move our products to give us extra bits of lines and drips and so as you can see, I'm moving the products with the heat tool um, just to give us that little bit of extra interest. I don't know, so, um, so if I can get it to move, I'm getting it to move because I just think it all looks really, really nice. So, yeah, so don't be afraid to experiment, but oh, I love that, really, really, really love it. So, we, as you can see, we've got those little drips and stuff coming in, I mean, it is still wet, um, but I just wanted to show you, you can use your heat tool to to really change it and um, because we've used those shimmer sprays our paper is now a really nice shimmery um, piece oh it's gorgeous I mean we are clear on the back so um, which is awesome right I'm going to go back offline I'm going to dry these properly we'll come back we'll do some stamping and then we are actually going to make something with them so I'll be back in a second okay so this is all lovely and dry so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to actually try this purple one and we're just going to do some stamping in the background so I'm just going to grab this stamp out so this stamp is by Clever Prince so um, by our lovely Emma Blake um, if any of you are on the Creating With All Black Brands um, she is on there and if you've watched any of Julia's Chanda shows she does a step in for our Julia um, she's absolutely amazing a designer um, and yeah very lucky to get um, some of her stamps I did buy them um, but this was a free one if you bought um, if you bought anything from her show so um, I'm so so glad I got it because it's it's one of my favorite stamps now so I'm just popping it on and as you can see we're just getting faint images I don't know if it's going to come up because of the shimmer um, but I'm loving it oh yes 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 so I didn't see very very faint now that's what I'm wanting so that is ready to go so let's bring in this one um, and I'm going to do the same so um, oh, do I want yeah just thinking do I want the purple or do I want to go for black but I'm going to go with the purple um, and then we're just going to sort of 
Um, yeah, I don't want it perfect impression, so I'm not pushing on all of it, even though I've inked all of it up. There we go. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love it. Right. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm really, really happy with how that is looking. So what I want to do, let's make this. I'm going to make it um, a tag as well as a holder for a tag um, using these. Now, I want this to be thicker. So I'm going to fold it in half and we're going to glue it together, which will give us the pattern on both sides. Um, so where's my glue? I'm just going to use my glue stick for this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to grab... Um, yeah, glue all of this together because I think it would be not quite nice to make a tag. Um, and then I'm going to make a little holder to go in it. And then if we've got any of the paper left, a little card wallet as well to sort of go in it as well, if that makes any sense. Because I thought that that would make such a lovely, lovely gift. So really making sure we've got plenty of glue on there. And the good thing about this glue, because it goes down purple, you can see where um, where you're putting it and if you've got it all. Um, it does dry clear, so um, yeah. But I do like the fact that it's purple when you first put it down. I know that um, the Tesco's do, does one as well. It's very, very similar. Um, let me just clean this glue off. I'm just going to use my... There we go. Rub an alcohol for that because it'll just come off quite quickly. And so much easier. Okay, so that's that done. So now I've got that done, I want to cut this down into tags. Um, I'm thinking that maybe we can get um, one, two, like four tags out of it. That's what I'm thinking. So, where's my trimmer? Um, because it's nice and sturdy now. So, if I do... Um, if I do three inches for each tag, that gives me four. Because uh, this is 12 by 12 up here. Okay. So, there we go. Right, so that'll do for them. And then um, with this piece, so I'm going to leave it as is because I quite like the fact that the back is white. I'm just going to bring this up first of all, like so. So I've brought it up um, just about a third of the way. I'm just going to grab my bone folder. Okay, like so. And then I think... I'm going to bring this one over. Um, so if that's going to go in there, I th yeah, I think maybe we'll leave it. But we do want, I'm going to have this, I think, so that. Um, just trying to think how I want this. I do love this paper though, I have to admit it's absolutely gorgeous, I really really like that, so I think we're going to keep that, um, and I cannot, but the only downside is we can only make three of them, even though we have the four tags, because by the time we've cut, uh, cut into them, and then stuck down the sides, yeah, so there's only enough room for three of them, but then we do have a bit off along the top, so I'm not going to have enough to make a card holder, because um, what my thought was, let me just grab a card, so what my thought was is we have, actually I could use this to do it, so the spare one, um, we just have one where you can put a little card in um, for a, a loved one and then it can also sit in there. So yeah, right, so we can do a card holder as well. Okay, um, I am thinking though that I don't want it as big, I'm just going to do that. Um, so just flattening that down so please do bear with me <laughs> um, so I've just gone over a quarter of the way and I don't want it as tall so I have just done that um, and I am 
going to, I think, um, just, I was going to tear it because I wanted that teared look, but I just, it's not going to work. Um, let's just cut it with this. Okay, so I'm um, just going to line that up. Oh, you have to push it down. Which, there we go. Right. So, yeah, perfect. Right, okay, I'm liking that. And then we have this little bit which we can use for decoration somewhere. Perfect. Okay, right then. Oh, I just put my ruler back. So, do you know, it's the first time I've used that ruler. I've had it for a very long time. And it's finally come in handy. Okay, so we need to split 12 up into three, which is four inches. So, let's cut four inch pieces. So these are going to be our pockets for our tags. And then we're just gonna decorate them up. And all I'm gonna do to decorate them up is I'm just gonna have a look to see what's in my um, my bit box and use that. And part of me wants this bit decorated. And I'm thinking that we have the hooks and kisses stamp or in black because it's just a little bit too bare. And in, I'm just going to lay that on, just like that. Oh. oh, I love, I love, I love. Oh, isn't that just awesome? I love it. Right, yes, we're going to do that to all of them. Okay, so as you can see, I mean, this started off as baby paper, like um, paper that you would make for kids' cards. Um, I don't have any small kids or anything like that, yet we're making something that actually looks so unique. Um, and just because we don't like the paper doesn't mean we can't use it. We, ch we change it. We, we do what we want to, to do to it. Oh, I love... I love. Um, so we're changing this to suit our needs, to suit what we want. And it also, it gives you a chance to experiment with different mediums as well. Um, so it's definitely one way to go about it. So let's just do this. Oh, I do love that so much. Right, okay. Um, <clears throat> So we've done that. I'm just going to put that off to the side just for now. And then what I want to do is I just want to grab my glue. And we're just going to glue these pockets um, down. So they need to be glued shut. So one side and then the other side. Like so. I'm just going to come in with my rag. Just in case any glue spills out. And then if you have a sewing machine, you can stitch this. I have a sewing machine, but it is in the loft. Um, I put it up there because I was, I had too much stuff and I wasn't using it. But then um, I've seen lots of people sewing their um, paper projects and I wished I'd left it downstairs, um, but never mind. And then that will just sit nicely in there like that, ready to put onto a gift. How cool is that? We are decorating it up. It's not going to stay like this. Um, but oh, I love that. I love it. Right, let's do it to the rest of them. So again, I'm just going to pop a thin bead of glue on and I'm staying right to the edge because we don't actually have a lot of room to work with um, in relation to popping in our, um, yeah, our tags. So I am, I mean on this one, you can actually see the original paper through. I mean, how cool does that look? That looks really cool, doesn't it? Um, so let's pop another tag in there. So, oh, I do. I love these. I think these are gorgeous. Okay, so there's that one. And then, oh, that's not staying shut. Um, because it is specialty paper, um, it just takes that little bit longer just to adhere properly. There we go. Right, okay, so, and then we're going to do the same to this one as well. So, down either side. Okay. Right. Um, well, these, I mean, these can either go into um, a journal. You can either put them in um, 
on a present you know you can use these for a multiple of things so on the back we're not going to do anything on the back of these we're literally just going to decorate this front bit off and our tag off that's it that's all we are going to do um just because you know um if wherever we put it it's going to be laying flat on somewhere so this um the idea of this is to go on to um oh, what do you call it onto a present we put our tag in um and yeah so i need to get my bit box out which i will in a moment it is literally just behind me um what we're going to do first though is close my gesso up so it doesn't dry out but i just want to put in um these bits so the top of the tabs and i also want to and i'm hoping i can find them quite easily um if we can't i'll just have to stick with it all uh, um a hole but i'd like to put an eyelet on um now i've got oh there they are perfect okay and then i need my tool for that so this one will do fine so <clears throat> i'm just going to make our hole i've just knit myself that was a bit silly wasn't it Oh, I like this one, which is a nice a big one. I wonder if this will work with my machine. Right. Um, uh, I can't see why it wouldn't. Oh, has that worked? Uh, no, not quite. Let me get my other one. Um, do I have another one? Mm, no. I've only got the ones that you sort of hammer and I don't want to hammer those. That one's just, oh, yeah, that's not working. So I think I'm going to have to stick with, um, I've got a load of um, uh, Sam the Scottish Crafter, which I absolutely love, but I think I'd have to buy the tool to go with them. Um, maybe cut yeah but i mean they're the absolutely gorgeous as well oh that one's nice but again i don't have i don't have the tools i'll try this one so this is just a cheap um a cheap one i'm thinking i might have ah i had it the wrong way around you silly woman that explains it okay perfect so we've got that one in there and then <coughs> to keep the angle the same what i'm going to do is just line that up like that because i want this to have the same sort of top and then we're going to take this over onto the other side and cut that bit off as well i can't believe i knit my finger oh yesterday i was um, making a card for my husband and uh yeah, I don't I just nipped it there, I don't know if you can see. Um, and I cut my finger, I thought I cut it there. So crafting is a very dangerous uh, hobby, just so that you are aware. Okay, I'm loving that. So that's what we've got. I really want to put another eyelet in actually, um, just in the middle of here. Because I think that would be really, really nice. So... Um, I don't want an orange one. Oh, there's a blue one. Let's see if the blue one will work. Because I did have it the wrong way around. So let's see if I put it the right way around. See if it works. Like I said, I'm useless with these. I hardly ever do them. So I'm not really... Oh, there we go. See, they do work. Oh, that's gorgeous as well. Yeah, that's lovely. I really like that right okay so that is those two and they're just lovely and like i said we're going to decorate up this bit here probably um i'm just thinking of a time so i'm probably thinking that um i will only decorate the one but i am thinking as well that how nice would it be to decorate it up with this on 
so this and so we put the card where you put your gift card actually on the front there do you know what i think that's what i'm going to do so this one's just more or less finished um so i think we've got this one um done so i'm just going to pop some glue down there like so oh, love and then i'm thinking that oh i love that so our little card's going to go in there make sure it stays adhered down um and what i'm thinking as well is we can do another little pocket within there yeah let's go for it why not i think that is just a fab idea now you don't have to put a gift card into this this is just um an option or i mean you can always just make like a little card with a really nice um sort of positive message on it i do that quite a lot i love that um you know just a really nice little saying um so i think that would be a nice thing and then they can keep it as well so just going to pop that on there so this is going to be a pocket as well oh, i love i love i love i love okay so so that's what we have so this i mean compared to what we started out with you've got to admit this looks fab i mean that's amazing isn't it how cool is that just notice i have some of these stamps here which i thought might be quite nice sort of just put on um oh i like that one which is nice and blue yes oh do you know i quite like that oh i really like that yeah do you know what we're going to stick these stamps on but i think we're going to have that one in the front because that one i really really like so like i say really really simple um not much going on at all i am trying to keep, be aware of time because i think we're approaching 40 minutes i think um i have had to stop it so yeah but these are gorgeous these stamps these came in my 12 days of christmas um oh what do you call it advent calendar of the lovely andrea and i absolutely love them so it's really nice to actually finally use them on something right okay now we do have this bit left and what i'm thinking is so i've got a piece of card here so I don't think I'm going to get the other two, um, yeah, made up. What I'm doing is going to draw around this, um, this card because, where's my pencils? I do still need to get out my bit box. So yeah, I'm just going to draw around the card and then on the back, um, so I can just to say, see, just roughly know where I need it covering and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this extra bit and I'm going to cover this in it um, and so that it matches in so and we're not wasting a thing then either so um, just like that I might actually do two <coughs> if we've got enough so and then and pop that one on there like that and again I'm just going to stick that on so and then let's cut this out so I've done the card um so we have added a little bit of card out of our, our scrap well out of our stash but um that's just so that we can join it together Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to grab my corner punch and we're just going to do all the corners. Now, this bit on the back will dry clear, so I'm not worried by that at all. And then that's just going to sit in there, um, which, I mean, how cool is that? Now, this is it. This is all I've got left. <laughs> oh, it's all I've got left. Um, right okay i don't think we're going to get another card out of it well i already know so i don't even know why i'm doing this but i think that 
I'm just going to do it anywhere and yeah we're going to sort of have yeah right okay I know what I'm doing <laughs> she says we're going to pop this on can't believe we've actually managed to use it all how amazing does that feel okay so I'm just going to pop that on in the middle and we're still going to cut it as if we were cutting down our um what do you call it our card so I'll take that bit off because yeah we don't need that bit and then I'm just going to cut it down now I'm not worried at all about um, the corners and rounding them because we're just going to use the round the punch for that. Um, so which is here. So let's do our corners. Oh, liking it. Right, I just need to get rid of this um, pencil line because it doesn't look very nice. Okay, move that because we don't need that. And then we've got another little card that we can chuck in there. So there you have it. I mean, how cool is that? Oh my God, it's so cool. Okay, let's grab my box of tricks and let's see what we've got. I might be able to do the others. I'd like to think we could do the others. Um, oh, what do I want? So we have some sentiments there. So I think we'll definitely come and use them. Um, they're Christmas. We don't want the Christmas ones. That's all Christmas. Uh, oh, I have some Alice in Wonderland bits. Mm, whether I want to use them or not, I don't know. They're floral. Oh, there. They might be really cool to use. And maybe those ones. Right, okay, now that I've got them out, let's have a look. I'm just going to have a sip of tea. Mm. Lovely. Right, so these have got all tickets and all sorts on. Oh, I love that. I've got this gorgeous writing. So, what I'm thinking is... Yeah. Oh. Just that on there, I love it. So I'm not going to think too much because like I say, I am aware of time. Um, so I know that we're about 40 minutes. So I'm thinking if I don't really think about it too much and we just go with it, um, I think then we might be able to get all three decorated, which is what I'd really, really like to do. Um, oh, I like that. That ticket's really nice. Um, I love the colour. I think the colour is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I like that. So, really, really pretty. And just put some glue on. I do like these. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And then... And have this little ticket on. Um, where's my? So I'm just going to come in with my vintage photo for this, um, and grab my. So I just want to, yeah, make it a bit more um, vintage. Really. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So and then we're just going to stick that on there like so. Okay, um, now we've got, oh, I like that, but it is taken away a lot from, yeah, oh, I do like them. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what I would, which one I'd have them on actually. Oh, I quite like them on there. Yeah, let's pop them on there again. Just going to ink them up. So I'm just using my vintage photo in the oxide. Uh, just because it was really easy to reach actually. Um, for some reason, my the ink one, I'm always trying to search for. 
Uh, I want those hugs and kisses to stay so okay and then let's just cut that off like so so there's that now um no I don't want one of them I'm thinking some sort of sentiment oh about these so we've got oh, dreaming colors I find your path I find your art the history discover it's out there dreams come true um, window into my dreams I quite like that little saying so let's have that one so I'm just gonna cut these out these are actually from and um, these words are from a paper pad from a craft box but please don't ask me which one because I really can't remember um it's been such a long time since I uh, <laughs> yeah since I first cut it up so I want to say I want to say it's the alchemy one um but yeah um please don't quote me on it um I have yeah it is the alchemy one because there's um, a word that says alchemy next to it so I'm going to say it's the alchemy paper pad oh, I like that right just finish this off we're just going to um, put some of this distress oxide just around those edges oh I love I love I love I love right so there's that little piece we need something for here so um let's have a look what we've got oh there's so many nice things isn't there it's just absolutely loads of nice things i like that but i don't like the big the big border on it so i think if we take this big border off and stick this down with a little sentiment i think that would work quite nice okay yeah so again not thinking too much about this because I think if I start thinking a bit too much about it we're just going to be here all day and I don't want to do that to you guys although I'm quite happy to sit here all day to do it <laughs> oh I like that um because we are having it that way aren't we um, oh, I do like that. that. That's yeah. No, I don't want that. Um, yeah, I'm quite liking that. Do I want it? No, I don't want anything off that. I don't want anything off that one. Right. Okay. So yeah, I'm liking that. So again, let's just pop some of my vintage photo on the edge just to darken it and let's stick that down and then we'll just put some word stickers on and then I think we are done so I'm loving that vintage um, next to that really really bright blue I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous I really really do okay let's move those bits out of the way so I'm just going to come in and add the vintage photo just around all of here I'm going to do it the same to our base as well so oh, gorgeous and then okay. right I will be back in a moment okay sorry about that I had a delivery so I had to just um pick it up right okay I am um, I can't quite remember where we left off so on the back of there uh, I'm not going to do it now but on the back of that I'm just going to put an inspirational quote because I think that would be quite nice so that's just going to sort of sit in there and then we've got this one again I can put a little note on there and then we have our tag which oh, I just think is gorgeous um but I am thinking we do need some white space so I'm just going to cover it actually in this white cardstock um, so that we can um, also it covers that up I'm going to have to think I don't know how I'm going to do the hole yet but we'll see I maybe should have thought of this 
Um, I mean, I did double it over, which actually what I should have done was so that we could have got more out of the paper um, is I should have just backed it onto card but yeah I, I suppose you don't really think of it do you <laughs> well I didn't anyway right I'm gonna see if this fits through there I'm not sure if it will or um just because there's an eyelet in it um no that's not gonna fit in there so we'll have to think of another way of doing it which I think I'll just um sort of prod it out using a a tool yeah, so just going to, yeah, I think that's the best way. So I'm just using my porky tool to do it um, and then break off those little bits. Oh, yeah, that looks fine, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks perfectly fine. Right, okay, I feel like my camera's moved while I have been gone. So let me just, there we go. Right, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? I need my scissors. So let's grab the scissors. So I'm just going to cut around this um, like this. And then we've got a, a place in which we can then um, leave our messages as well. So you can write a nice little note on. Um, but like I say, if I'd really thought about it, um, instead of folding it over, because when I first started, I was just thinking if we fold it over, it'll be a lot stronger because it was just paper um, and we could have got more tags out of it but um, never mind it wasn't meant it to be so okay right um, I'm just going to pop that into there so that I mean how nice is that isn't that lovely and you could send that to um, a pen pal or anyone really um, I'm just having a look for um, some ribbon so let's see what we've got. Oh, I've got this gorgeous ribbon. So let's use this. Um, it is a bit thicker than um, I would normally use, but it, it does go with it quite nicely. So um, yeah, I think this ribbon came off one of my craft boxes because all your, all your boxes are wrapped in um, in ribbon although their boxes have now changed so I won't find out until I think it's the end of February they start shipping out oh, oh I love that right um so I like that thick one let me see if I've got a thin one or something thinner to go on it oh I know what I've got I've got this gorgeous navy blue um card which I just think is absolutely stunning so um and it's brand new okay so i'm just going to use some of that as well it's all curly whirly um i'm wondering if right okay so again i'm just going to pop that through here hopefully it will fix it is quite a thick one um so i'm hoping we can get it through yes we can perfect awesome right so there you have it how awesome is that i mean isn't that just lovely just to give as a gift to somebody um and like i say you can put like a little gift card in there or um, a money voucher or um just write some nice little inspirational quotes if you don't want to give it to someone you can pop it in a junk journal and you've got all these um different places in which you can write so there's that one so very quickly let's do um the other two because like i said i would really like um I'm hoping, let me just look at the time, so we're about 53 minutes. Okay, so um, I only know that because my camera does 12 hours and 53 minutes, well my memory card does so, um, and we're on 12 hours, so um, yeah, so let's do this very, very quickly, because um, like I said, I don't want to do this, oh, I like that, and I've got another one of them, so they were, right, okay, so we're going to keep this again very simple so I'm just going to cut that turn it over and do the other side and I am going to do eyelets on these ones as well um, let's do the same as what we did on the first so just measuring it up because I want them to have the same angle and then do on this side okay um, so I'm just going to put our holes in Right, what I'm going to do is I'll do this, I'll do these off camera. So I'm going to go off 
off the um yeah i'm gonna go off camera now i'm gonna put the eyelets in there and i'm gonna do the same with there so i'll be back in a moment okay so i'm back so i've done those um i haven't put the um ribbon on these ones yet but i will do okay so this one as i was working um i found some of this trim which came in some happy mail so i thought we could use some of that so i'm just going to use my fabric tack for this but i do actually need to open it so I finally finally um got around to buying <laughs> um the proper stuff for when i'm gluing fabric to card so that's what this stuff is i have to say it does smell <laughs> but um yeah it is fine so i thought this a trim would be really really nice if we just sort of put it on just along the bottom so just like that oh, i like that oh really nice um just for that little bit of extra detail now i do i would like to have oh we could sort of put that on just there like that so i quite like that um yeah let's just use this just because we're using it so so this is going to be for a birthday or well for anything really um because we don't even have to keep that we can cover that up i just like the pink um that goes with it so i have these oh there you go i have these flowers that i fussy cut out um let's make the glue um that i thought would look really really nice on this one so yeah see don't have to have them and then um yeah i'm gonna leave that as it is because i really like how that looks so on this um i'm just gonna build up my flowers um we are gonna put some words on um but the front is literally gonna be like a cascade of um of floral elements so these i've just fussy cut them out i had a little strip left over so um i've just fussy cut them out while i was doing the things off camera so yeah oh i like that i like how that looks i think that looks lovely i want to do a little bit of doodling so let's break um we'll use this one so this is just a small brush pen um and what I'm going to do is as if the, the flowers are on strings. So just like this. So this is going to be the design of the card. Um, I love. I absolutely love. Okay. And then this one, which I think we'll have going all the way up there so like that and then i'm just going to add some little squiggles here there and everywhere like so oh, i like that and then i'm just going to do some dots so some fake splashes just around a few of our pieces so yeah i like that really like that something a little a bit different isn't it um and then i'm just gonna grab my white gel pen and we are just going to add some white detailing in just all the way around so i saw our lovely angela she deals with the gel pen when it gets stuck she does it on her hand which it doesn't work oh. um okay right so there we go this should no i need to get a new one i think actually i know why it's not working there's no ink left in it so all the ink has gone so i have actually used that up so never mind i don't know what i've done with do have actually a new set of them and i don't know what i've done with them let's try this white gel pen see if this one works so this is just a really really cheap one i think um yeah okay so and just see how we go yeah it's not really 
just adding in that extra detail sometimes you know it's the little details that make all of the difference so it's not the best working um, however it is sort of doing something right okay so that's what I've got is this a white pen no that's a purple pen oh actually this one we can use to go around with some fake stitching so this is a running stitch all the way around the tag so just like this okay loving that right okay so that's our tag i want to put some words on um and i'm thinking that we're going to use these ones so um let's have um dreams come true forever so i like that so i'm thinking forever dreams come true and i've got remember as well so we can have remember dreams come true forever so yeah i like that right so i'm just going to use my um glue just to stick them on so I am sort of being quite quick with these um, because obviously I don't want this video I mean I think we're we're already over an hour now um, so yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed it so it's just something that you can sort of do with the 12 by 12s that you don't like um, you know just get your mediums out have fun play you saw that they weren't perfect and um, but yeah I mean we've produced some really really pretty things um, so I'm just going to pop that in there and then um, on here so oh that actually dries really really quick I'm impressed um, we're going to put find your art. I like that one. So that's going to be the word that we have just there. So let's adhere that down. So just like that. And then I'm going to grab this pen. And we're just going to do some fake stitching just across there. And then I think I'm going to do some just around here as well um, just to help it all match in quite nicely so all the way around like that love it right okay so there is that one that one is all done right let's do the last one so first thing I wanted to do um, when I saw it is I'd like to stick these on I just need to where is it let me just pop that cap back on because I don't want that to dry out right so we're just going to glue this down so I'm going to glue the big one onto the tag holder and then I'm going to glue the small one onto the tag so put that on there for a moment for it to um, adhere down nicely these were actually gifted to me in happy mail so i'm assuming they um were die cut and absolutely gorgeous so thank you to whoever gifted me them because they are amazing and then we do have some alice in wonderland bits which might be nice um oh i like that one what else do we have uh, I'm just thinking we could have something that could also be like a tuck. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I do like that. I'd like the white rabbit there actually. And maybe have that as a little tuck spot for a card or something to go in maybe. Um, I have these as well these little yeah I like that on there <laughs> that's really nice so I'm gonna have that on there um oh we've always got this one oh I like that one that right do you know what? I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna change that to the white rabbit on there I like that really really 
um, a lot. So yeah, I'm just going to put these back in here. Um, okay, so yeah, I really, really like that. So I'm just going to oh, cut those end bits off. And then we're going to adhere that just onto there, like that. Yeah, I like how that looks. So just like that. Um, and I'm going to have it so that it's a pocket as well. Just because why not? Why not indeed? And then have it so that we can have that. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. Right, okay, so we have that. So I'm going to make sure that it adheres down um, just grab this I'm going to use the pink ribbon on the tag and then I've got some more blue of the thick blue ribbon so I think I'm going to use that on the um, on the hold a bit okay so there's that oh, I love that I think that looks absolutely gorgeous and then I want to put in a border so I'm just using this purple pen I don't even know where this purple pen came from it just sort of appeared um, yeah so I haven't got a clue right let's pull oh oh there we go just so that I can go all the way down there right now let's pull that back out I think I'm going to have to put a bit more glue just across here because it hasn't stuck. There we go. Right, I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. Okay. Oh, do you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to just pop a bit of this glue just underneath this ribbon because it is sort of um, moving out of the way. It's like, uh, it looks like it's about to come off and we don't, we really don't want that to happen. So I'll just hold that for a second and hopefully that'll catch. Oh, I do, I like that a lot. Um, I'm thinking that I want something on there, like a gem or something. What have I got in here? Um, have we got anything big enough in here? Oh. I've got these. Oh, that might be nice. Yeah, I like that. So let's stick that on. So that's going to go on there. And then we'll stick one there. Like that. And then one just next to it. There should be a tiny, tiny one in there. Yes, there is. There we go. So we've got three on the tag. Oh, I like them. So these are Nouveau gemstones that came in a kit and they're actually really, really nice. Right, so there's that. Okay, I'll leave that to dry a moment. Um, put that on there. And then I'm just going to go around and cut these bits off. And then we'll finish that off. And again, this is going to become a pocket saw. I'm just going to glue down there and down there and then I'm going to glue across the bottom there. Right, I'm really sorry if there's a dodgy edit there. Um, husband was being husband. Okay, right, so um, let me have a look. Let's pop. We've got this lovely little Alice tag here so I think that, oh, I need to make sure that that is, <laughs> stays. Um, so we're going to pop that in there. So yeah, I like that. Right. Oh, do you know what I'm tempted to do? Um, where did I put my staple? I'm tempted just to put a couple of staples in, but I don't think, I'm not sure if it would look nice. I'm just going to put some more glue in there just because it doesn't seem to be. Um, this is um, textured paper, so sometimes it just needs just a little bit longer. Um, yeah for it to take so just gonna yeah but that is what we have I mean how cute is that isn't that just lovely I love that so that's what we've got for this one um let's cut off a little bit of this um ribbon um and we will pop this through the top and then what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go off camera and we are going to um, yeah, 
just <laughs> let me just pull this so that it's nice and tight and then I'm just going to cut it down just a little bit okay so right I'm going to tidy up my desk desk up and then um, I'll be back okay so I'm all done so here are our three um, tags that we have created along with their holders using the paper that um, we changed right at the start I mean how nice is that it doesn't even resemble the paper that we had but yet we've got three beautiful um, things here so this one has the three different things so um, yeah I just I absolutely love them I love how they've worked out um, <clears throat> if I'd thought on I would have just backed this onto um, a stronger cardstock but um, yeah I didn't um, I haven't put anything on the back of these ones um, I've just left them actually and I'll decide what I'm going to do with them or when I use them um, but just adding that little bit of pink on has really really brightened that one up and then we have an Alice themed one which I just think is absolutely gorgeous with those a few gems and again they've got these extra little tucks so I just think that is yeah it's really really sweet I think this will go gorgeous in um yeah in an Alice themed journal so and then that just sits in there like that so yeah so that's what we have created so like I say um you know we can do so much with our papers if you don't like it then we change it so I'll be coming back again with another couple of videos showing you what you can do with papers that you don't love um so I've got a few ideas in mind which I think are going to be fab hopefully fab and work out fine and we'll we'll um create something with them every time that we change them so yeah I've used a two whole 12 by 12 sheets of paper that I did not like that would have just sat in my collection forever and now look at it it's a three beautiful tag sets so I'm going to leave it there thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hopefully we'll see you very soon in another video but until then please do take care and happy crafting bye